In today's video, I'm going to go over the process of registering my home belt trailer in Colorado. The video is broken down into the six basic steps. The first step is getting an appointment for a VIN inspection. The lead times for this can be two to four weeks, so you want to do this early. Step two is weighing your finished trailer. I just did a quick internet search to find a certified scale near me. The next step is paperwork. You will need to fill out two forms and take them with you to your VIN inspection. The statement of assembly form does not need to be super detailed. The VIN number section of the compliance form will just be filled in to be assigned if you built the trailer from scratch. You will also need to provide receipts for the main building materials. I included a spreadsheet to make it easier on the inspector. The actual inspection is very straightforward. You just need to meet the requirements on the bottom of the compliance sheet. The eTrailers website has a good article on trailer lighting requirements if you have any questions. Once the inspector signs off on all your paperwork, you can proceed to the DMV where you can get your registration, VIN number, and license plate. All right, now that I have a VIN plate, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the trailer right around here. The state patrolman said I could also attach it up here, but I think I'm gonna do this side. And here it is installed. I just use closed ended stainless steel rivets, 3 16th rivets. Now we're all legal, you can take it down the road. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.